Hello, my name is Eric Meyer, but you can call me Calories. And I haven't really told you all a lot about myself in these videos. So today that changes. Most of you, except for a small group of people, probably don't know this, but I am actually in a mental institution. I script, record, and edit all of these videos in a laptop that I hide in my pillowcase. Now, what the hell is probably your response to that, which is quite understandable. So sit down and grab some popcorn, because this is how my life was ruined by an evil demon sheep. So I'm sure you know of Bigfoot, Nessie, the Yeti, Queen Elizabeth. These are all cryptids. Also known as funny fake animals that probably don't exist, maybe. For a long time, one of these cryptids eluded people for years. Four letters that struck fear into the hearts of many. Ging. The story goes that a normal everyday sheep wandered a little bit too far from the flock during a particularly harsh thunderstorm. Lightning struck them, resulting in excruciating pain for the wounded creature. Instead of a scar or something, chunks of the body came apart instead, miraculously causing the word gang to be in the negative space. The animal should have died, but it didn't. Some say it was possessed by Satan, given magical powers, or some other dumb shit. But however it happened, it survived the incident, becoming a hyper-intelligent sheep with red eyes for some fucking reason. Completely messing with the people it comes in contact with to this day. Or at least that's how the myth went. This was one of many stories I heard when I was a young little shit. I never believed it, obviously. Until one day in 1963, it changed my life. I was wandering in the forest at night when I heard an animal move. I looked around and saw that it looked to be a sheep. I didn't think much of it until I saw the infamous ripped out flesh from the animal's body. I assumed my brain was making shit up for a few seconds, but it wasn't. I looked around, blinked. Nope, it was real. Out of fear, I ran away. I can never remember if Ging chased me or not. It certainly felt like it. All that mattered was that what I saw wasn't imaginative, it was reality. Being 13, nobody would believe my traumatic experience. I was a social outcast and introvert. Most people didn't know me well enough to verify if this was a weird joke or mentally insane ramblings. I don't blame school students for making fun of me sharing my story. If I was in their position, I would have laughed too. What I don't excuse were my parents immediately forcing me to seek help due to the seemingly absurd nature of my story. I was placed in a mental institution. I eventually got hold of a laptop, and because the institution has no security on the internet for employees, I just use that whenever possible. The experience of having to edit like this has been quite a draining one for me, but I've learned to adapt and I think you can see I've done pretty well for myself in some areas, and very poorly in others. So I think I should probably explain how I got to this point a bit more. So obviously, I got a hold of that laptop sometime in the early 2010s, and it ended up being a very, very big deal for me considering I had no internet access before this. Over time, I began to use this website known as Fish Gaming Network. It has game reviews and other stuff. Chances are you've already heard of this website for better or for worse, it's quite well known. Well, I began to become a frequent member of these forums. I used a different username that I don't think I'll specify here for now. Believe it or not, something weird happened. The people on the forums began to conspire against me, and after multiple warnings, I was actually blacklisted from the forum, and people in the forum got me banned in other places too. And I have to say, it was a very unfortunate moment. But it would lead me to exploring other avenues, which is where my channel and my geometry-career came into the picture. I ended up making something that got popular, and now I have this path for myself. So I'd say I've done a good enough job at adjusting to everything. And that's about where my story ends. I'll continue to make videos and entertain you all. I think this could turn into a wonderful journey, though I feel like something is missing. I should probably be a bit more honest to you, so I will. I'm gonna go ahead and say the username I used to use, considering it's a bit important for the next video. You may or may not recognize it. Uh, shoffs.